my name is Erin Matson. I am a UNC alum. I have won four national championships for Carolina as a player and now one as a coach. I'm Aranza Vasquez. I'm a diver and I've won four national titles in the past two years. Heading into the actual moment, what stands out for you for this one? I wanted to repeat what I did last year. Last year was a great year. It was the first time I won national championships. I knew that it was gonna take a lot. And like, as you get better and like your name gets recognized, at least in diving, it's, it's harder for you to win because there's like a lot of expectations. So they mm. try to like, because it's a, like a judging it's subjective. sport. It's I so know. subjective. I could never do yeah. it. I feel like I don't agree with it's you. It's so subjective. So like nothing is given to you. So I knew that this one was probably gonna be harder because of that. And then like the first couple of days, I just was like really feeling myself. I was just really confident of like everything that I had preferred. I wanted it. I wanted to repeat what I did last year and at the end it worked out. You're right. It's your bar and you're always raising your own mm -hmm. standard because same thing, you can't just do the ex exact same yes. and expect um, the same. You need to keep growing. It's just you and your dives. And like, if you win, it's because you actually won at that point. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, which actually kind of makes it that much sweeter. Yeah. Do you get nervous? Oh yeah, I do. I think <laughs> I do it, it never goes away, <laughs> no. like never. And I really love that feeling. I was definitely nervous, but as soon as I did that first dive, I felt like I was locked in. Mm -hmm. Like even before, like in the warm up before the competition, I was just like hitting my dives and like really like ripping them and like like big dives. And I was like, okay, like I'm ready for this. Like nothing's gonna stop me. I love that. I can yeah, feel your yeah. energy right now, which means it was definitely there. Yes. That'll do it. Oh my, there's your winner again, again, defending on the one meter, defending on the three meter, unbelievable. My last time I knew uh, me and the second place were like really head to head. So I was five points ahead of her. So I knew that my last time had to be really good if I wanted to win. But that kind of helps me because that pressure, I'm like really good at like leaning into that adrenaline, those mm -hmm. nerves, that pressure. As soon as I jumped, I like felt great in the air. As soon as I hit the water, I, I knew that I had won. I didn't know if it was perfect, but the scores were like good enough yeah. that I won. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently to the announcers, it Apparently, was. Apparently, so, yeah. yes. <laughs> we say all the time, you know, trust in your preparation, mm -hmm. which obviously you're an expert at. You know, we say just dare to be brilliant. Just go, just yeah. take risks. And, you know, it's better to make a mistake than to not make a yes. decision at all and learn from it. So. Mm -hmm. Um, those are some things we lean on, but curious where your mind's at with what you think about and what you would tell others. One of the biggest things that I use is like the pressure, the nerves and the adrenaline are gonna be there. Like there's no way you're not gonna have that if you care about what you're mm -hmm. doing. So for me, it's like, you might as well lean into it and mm -hmm. use it in your advantage. I love the way you phrased that, lean in. Hardest question I ever get, I'm sure you're the same. Four natties. Which one stands out? Which one's your favorite? Do you have a favorite? I think my first one. Okay. Uh, so last Why? year on the one meter, it was a great competition. I, I think I was in first the whole, like through the whole finals. And I was just really enjoying it. The environment at that pool was like incredible. Like I remember doing my last dive and it was kind of the same feeling of of this year of like, I did it and I knew that like, I had won. Mm -hmm. So like, all the emotions of like, finally getting mm -hmm. to that point, all the work that I have been doing for the past two years, finally like paid off. And also my sophomore year was like, really hard mentally. Mm -hmm. And I was like, in the between of like, do I want to keep doing this competitive or mm -hmm. not? So like, coming to my junior year, it just, yeah. it was amazing. So definitely that first one was my favorite. And I can tell it means a lot to you and I can relate, every athlete can, of you're you know, hunched over, out of breath, you're getting up early, yeah. you're putting in all of the work, and it, it's very powerful to finally, yes, get to that goal, and then of course, once we get there, you know, let's keep you just flying. Want more. Exactly, yeah. you can never get satisfied. Yeah. What does this mean for yourself, but also for Carolina, and the program, and your coaches, and everyone who invests so much um, into you as well? I mean, for myself, it's just another, big accomplishment like I dreamed of coming to the United States and like being able to represent the school and like do my best as a diver and like my best academically too so it's like a dream come true like I don't think I've ever thought that I was gonna win national 
uh, NCAA titles, let alone four. Right. <laughs> um, so it's been great. And for UNC, like, I mean, they opened the doors to me. They like gave me the opportunity of being here. So like, it feels amazing to being on that podium and just wearing the UNC Carolina colors. I love that. And then also, what does it mean for your country and your family? As yeah. Because well? I know that's a big part for you. Yeah. For my family, I mean, they're like super proud. And for my country, like, I just really like that I have the power of like showing everyone in Mexico that like, I didn't get here because I have superpowers, you know? Right. Like, it's just like, you have to work hard. I think that's a really big privilege that I have of like, looking back to those kids in Mexico and be like, hey, like, if this is possible, mm -hmm. like, you don't need anything out of this world, but just be yourself and right. like, go for it. Welcome to the Four Natty Club, and you should be very proud. There's not many people that can say they've won four national yeah. championships, so yeah. boom. Thank you. <laughs>